Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411, and today we're going to go ahead with your Celtic Cross reading for the sign of Libra. So Libra, I already started this reading and I had to start it over, some noise in the background, you will hear my grandma playing her video game, okay? So uh, bottom of the deck card is the Ace of Cups, so this is like a jubilee supreme happiness and joy going to take place and we do have thanksgiving coming up this week so that could be a part of it but all in all supreme emotions like the tippy top of your emotions you can't get higher than this ace of cups so get ready for a grand old beautiful time could be with family friends or we'll see if there's love involved seven of pentacles this is all about you know doing so much and giving so much of yourself and you know, building up those pinnacles in different ways, you know, a lot of times it's not just money, it's what you're doing with your time and your energy and what you're giving out. And a lot of times you don't feel like you're getting that back. You see how he's looking at everything he's built and he's just not feeling like he should for, you know, building those coins up. And this is how you want to feel when you build those coins up. So it looks like spirit is going to eclipse this out and let you see your worth in this situation how beautiful next card queen of swords okay so you're going to be very sharp precise and she doesn't suffer any fools this is also a uh, air card so and we're doing libra so <laughs> this is perfect she's dealing with a shyster or we could be dealing with a shyster. It doesn't matter the gender of the card. It's the power of the card, the energy. And so if there's a shyster around us doing something they have no business doing, they're going to get caught. We'll see exactly what we need to see, and we're going to confront them. So all in all, this will be taken care of, and, you know, the shyster is going to get called out. Next card, the magician. So yeah, we're very magical right now, very powerful, and we're going to be using our magic to create and bring to us exactly what we want. We got all the elements on the table to do so, and it's going to make us feel like this. It's going to make us feel, we got that glow. We're powerful. We got that glow. Rhythm of elevation. And this is like the sunshine divine all over our bodies. So get ready to feel blessed and abundant coming up here soon. Got all that sunshine around me. We do have a tower, and I think this tower has something to do with the shyster and the queen catching the shyster. And this is going to make that shyster's tower fall. That's what it looks like to me. Whatever this one is doing, they have no business doing, they're going to fall out the tower. Because the queen ain't playing, she'll cut them right out. Next card we got. Five of Cups. So this is similar to Virgo with this. And so this is all about, you know, losing. You lose real big. Some kind of disappointment. Something that brings you sadness. Something that, like, really, like, bothers you and makes you, like, I can't believe this. And you see all those... Uh, well, these three cups with the liquid spilt out, then you got the two cups still standing. So you want to turn around. Remember, you got two cups still standing, two cups still standing. And turn around to those other two cups, build back up to the five and then to the ten. And that's wish fulfillment happily ever after. So, you know, sometimes we go through sad and hard times, but <laughs> this is where we're going after this. So... This is at the bottom of the deck, so you can count on this being a thing of the past or you're getting through this and feeling really, really good. So moving on, Libras. So this could be us feeling new and fresh in an opportunity, or this could be someone coming in towards us. This is a fire sign, could be, not necessarily have to be, but they're very head-turning, very magical, got a lot of charisma, and maybe they want to take you out on a date. They could be offering you uh, their time and attention, and it'll be a magical time. These pages are something else for, so you can't lose with this page, okay? And <laughs> you're the magical magician, so this will be a party out of this world. <laughs> Y'all going to have a blast together, whoever that is. Next card, did I do the night, the night of one? So this is charging in real fast towards something or someone, be it a work opportunity or be it love. So yeah, that could be what it, exactly what it is. These two 
uh, could be one in the same. This page could be this night offering you a date or, you know, a time out on the town. And that could lead to this too. If you've been wanting to get out and enjoy yourself, it's going to be a super magical time for you. Okay. All right. So those were the first six cards. Bottom of the deck now we got the king of pentacles. So we got the queen and the king. So she's razor sharp and he's a baller. He makes that bread and he knows this worth and he can help you maybe offer you a job or some kind of blessing could give you a blessing. All in all, you can't lose with these two <laughs> unless that queen is against you and <laughs> then you could lose because she don't play. Okay. And bottom of the deck now, six of swords. So you or someone around you could be leaving, and that could be the shyster. You could get kicked right out of whatever's going on. You know, could be coming in fast and leaving fast because <laughs> that night. But all in all, just be mindful because it's a shyster and the tower's falling and someone's leaving. All right. And we got at the bottom of the deck. Uh, young ones around you so that could be too we do have thanksgiving coming up so this could be someone around you innocent young and you know sweet <laughs> could be a nephew niece unk, uh, like cousin and this is the five of pentacles so this could be a situation where you know it's a rocky road relationship and something didn't isn't panning out so they're not seeing their sanctuary right above them and all you have to do is lift your head and you can see it so this is all about you know not seeing your work in the situation again but all in all i think you know maybe a past relationship or a relationship that's not doing so well could be going to the next stage or this relationship could be ending because that's what the tower is all about you know <laughs> a lot of times i get these two next to each other because or in the same reading because y'all been given everything you have in the situation and it's not working anymore and this doesn't have to be you it could be someone around you i'm not in a relationship right now so you know i don't have a rocky road relationship but i do know people around me in one so that could be and this could be coming to an end because we do have the shyster and we do have the queen, and she's not playing. So she could be ending a relationship this week. All right, next card we got. Lovers, holy smokes. So either you're repairing a relationship after this tower, or this is a completely different situation for you and bringing in new love because you did see uh, opportunity for passion and a date with the night in a page. And that could be exactly what this is for you, a date, a date night coming in, and an opportunity for love. How blessed. So I see two different things going on with that tower. It's either a situation where uh, a couple isn't doing well and it could end for them. And then I see another opportunity for new love for you. Next card, or renewing of love not being able to sleep. So it might be things and people around you not allowing you to sleep or you got just so much on your mind. You got all these swords in your head. Like these are all thoughts and you are letting your thoughts have more control over you than you, you have over your thoughts. So if that's the case, make sure you're getting enough sleep at night and you can do that by getting exercise during the day to make you want to just clonk out <laughs> when it's time to go to sleep, okay? Next card, we got Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> All right. So we're double aced right here, y'all. Sorry about that. My grandma had to leave to go to an appointment. So right here, we're double aced, y'all. <laughs> this is God money. <laughs> this is supreme God money. So this is either minor arcana where you're going to get some kind of blessing. You know, all blessings are good when it comes to money. But this could be some kind of help from the hand of God or someone around you. Spirit put it on their heart to help you. Some kind of situation to where you feel, you know, super blessed. <laughs> I would really like that right now. <laughs> and also you have the Ace of Cups. So this could be all in all a super blessed time coming in for you, Libra. Next card, King of Wands. So 
this is going to be a very magical time. You could be very, very powerful in magic right now. And maybe you've done something already to bring in the Ace of Coins and the um, Ace of Cups. But well, all in all, a blessed time coming in for you. Yeah, because you've been working hard. Even though you haven't seen your work, you're about to. So all in all, get ready for a blessed super time. You're very magical. You got love coming in. <laughs> And it's, you know, someone's getting out of Dodge. But all in all, this is a blessed, blessed time for you. Go right ahead, Libras. I'm so happy for you. God, money. Go right ahead, y'all. It's going to make you feel jubilee. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Bye, y'all.